Can you tell us about your background and experience in education? I have been in the field of education for 10 years, working primarily as a classroom teacher and later as a department head at Sunshine High School. I have a robust background in curriculum development, instructional strategies, and teacher mentoring. My experience includes leading a successful school-wide literacy initiative that increased reading scores by 15% over two years and mentoring new teachers through a comprehensive induction program. These roles have equipped me with the skills necessary to support and guide teachers effectively. What do you see as the primary role of an instructional coach? The primary role of an instructional coach is to support teachers in enhancing their instructional practices to improve student learning outcomes. This involves providing personalized professional development, modeling effective teaching strategies, and facilitating data-driven instruction. An instructional coach also fosters a collaborative culture among teachers by encouraging professional learning communities. Ultimately, the goal is to help teachers grow professionally and improve student achievement. How do you build trust and rapport with teachers? Building trust and rapport with teachers starts with active listening and showing a genuine interest in their challenges and goals. I approach coaching with a non-judgmental attitude and maintain confidentiality to ensure teachers feel safe to share their concerns. I celebrate their successes and provide constructive feedback in a supportive manner. Establishing consistent communication and being reliable further helps in building a trusting relationship. For example, in my previous role, I held regular coffee chats where teachers could discuss their challenges and successes in an informal setting, which greatly helped in building rapport. Can you describe a time when you successfully implemented a new instructional strategy or program? At my previous school, I introduced a differentiated instruction program to address the diverse needs of our student population. I began by providing professional development sessions to introduce the concept and followed up with classroom observations and one-on-one -on -one coaching. By collaborating with teachers to tailor strategies to their specific classrooms, we saw a significant improvement in student engagement and achievement within the first semester. One notable success was a 20% increase in math proficiency among students who had previously struggled. How do you handle resistance from teachers who are reluctant to change? Resistance to change is natural, and I approach it with empathy and patience. I start by understanding the reasons behind their reluctance and addressing their concerns directly. Providing evidence of the effectiveness of new strategies through data and success stories can help. Additionally, I involve them in the decision-making process and offer gradual implementation plans to make the transition more manageable. For instance, I worked with a veteran teacher who was resistant to using technology. By demonstrating how a specific tool could save her time and improve student engagement, and by providing ongoing support, she eventually adopted and embraced the new technology. What strategies do you use to analyze and utilize student data to inform instruction? I utilize a variety of data analysis tools to examine student performance, identify trends, and pinpoint areas for improvement. I work with teachers to disaggregate data by subgroups to ensure we address the needs of all students. Once we have identified key areas, we collaboratively develop action plans, set measurable goals, and monitor progress. Regularly reviewing the data helps us adjust instructional strategies in real time to meet students' needs effectively. For example, using assessment data, I helped a team of teachers identify gaps in reading comprehension and implement targeted interventions that led to a 10% improvement in test scores. How do you ensure professional development sessions are effective and engaging? Effective professional development should be interactive, relevant, and practical. I incorporate hands-on activities, real-life examples, and opportunities for teachers to collaborate and share their experiences. I also ensure the content is directly applicable to their classrooms and provide follow-up support to help teachers implement what they have learned. Gathering feedback after sessions allows me to continuously improve and tailor future PD to meet teachers' needs. For instance, I designed a workshop on formative assessment strategies where teachers practiced creating and using various assessment tools, followed by classroom implementation and peer feedback sessions. Describe a time when you had to address a challenging situation with a teacher or group of teachers. How did you handle it? During a curriculum change initiative, a group of teachers expressed strong dissatisfaction with the new materials. I scheduled a meeting to listen to their concerns and validate their feelings. We then collaboratively reviewed the curriculum, identified specific issues, and brainstormed solutions. By involving them in the problem-solving process and making adjustments based on their input, we were able to reach a consensus and move forward productively. 
This approach not only resolved the immediate issue but also strengthened our collaborative relationship and trust. How do you stay current with the latest educational research and best practices? I am committed to lifelong learning and regularly participate in professional development opportunities such as workshops, conferences, and online courses. I also subscribe to educational journals, follow thought leaders in the field, and participate in professional learning networks. Staying current with the latest research allows me to bring innovative and evidence-based strategies to the teachers I support. For instance, I recently completed a course on culturally responsive teaching, which has enhanced my ability to support teachers in creating inclusive learning environments. What would be your approach to developing a new coaching plan for a school? My approach would start with a thorough needs assessment, including analyzing student data, conducting surveys, and having conversations with teachers and administrators to identify key areas for improvement. Based on the findings, I would set clear, measurable goals and develop a strategic plan that includes targeted professional development, ongoing coaching cycles, and regular check-ins to monitor progress. The plan would be flexible to adapt to emerging needs and focused on fostering a collaborative, reflective culture among staff. For example, at my last school, I developed a coaching plan that led to improved literacy rates by incorporating teacher-led book clubs and peer observations. How do you support teachers in integrating technology into their instruction? I support teachers by providing training sessions on various educational technologies and demonstrating how these tools can enhance learning. I offer hands-on workshops and one-on-one -on -one coaching to help teachers feel comfortable with the technology. Additionally, I share best practices and provide resources for integrating technology effectively. Continuous support and follow-up ensure that teachers can implement and sustain the use of technology in their classrooms. For instance, I helped a group of teachers integrate interactive whiteboards into their lessons, resulting in increased student engagement and interactive learning experiences.